Hello, my name is Peyton and I'm with the Lethbridge Public Library and today we're going to do another fox quilt uh, tutorial. Um, this is part two for joining two rows of a triangle quilt together. So I'm just going to uh, uh, remind you of the pattern that I'm working on here. So it's the little fox quilt with all the cute little foxes. I'm very excited for this. Um, I <laughs> uh, can't wait to see it uh, see it done. Um, and yeah, so um, in our last video, we, we ironed our seams open and um, I left you after pinning a couple of the triangles to pin the rest. So the rest have now all been pinned and now we are going to sew it. So um, I got my thread, just looking at my bobbin. Yeah, it's going to run out at some point during this most likely, but that's okay. Um, everything looks good. It will be a straight stitch. Um, and with a center needle at um, two, size two for my distance. So I have this pinned and I actually leave the pin in. Um, I, will, I will take it out momentarily, but I'm just gonna leave it in for a second. Um, because what I do is I will actually wait and I'll pull it out ever so slightly. So you, I mean, like just kind of inch it out like this so that the top part is off. And then I line it up. I lay my foot down, I put my needle in, and then I take that first pin out. Just so now I know it's held in there and uh, and we're good to go. So uh, this is just a straight stitch, just joining the two, uh, two uh, rows together. Uh, so I'm gonna go forward a little, stop. I'm gonna put it in reverse and go back. And then I'm gonna go forward again. Try to go forward again. Come on. Just went back a little too far. Got a little bundled up there. Should be good to go. There we go. Just watching everything. So as we approach the first seam, I'm gonna stop. So I have I have a needle here. Um and I'm gonna pull that out. And then I'm just going to make sure my seams are open and they look good. Um, make sure I'm at the right uh, distance with my foot. And I'm going to go slowly over this bump because it is all this fabric bundled together. So it's quite a bit for the machine and I don't want to break the needle. <laughs> you can hear it bang, 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 hammering out. Um, all right, and then we just keep going. And I'm just gonna stop as I pull up my next needle at the next uh, intersection of material and uh, take it slow. This one is not lined up the bestest. under there so you see I do have to adjust some of my seams as I'm going and this is the one um, in the video that I pointed out where it's not it won't yeah it's done wrong but that's okay Never lift your foot unless your needle's in your fabric. Otherwise, it moves and that's not good. Just gonna look at how it's going so far and so far it's looking, it's looking good. A little bit more. We're almost at the eyes. What the? Okay, hold on. No, oh, it's 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 okay. Maybe. I'm wondering if that's. I think that is. 
was, yeah, that was just my bobbin dying. Okay. <laughs> you hear a big thunk and you're like, oh no. I can't tell if the thunk right there. I'm like, oh, it's just the construction guys. But no, it definitely came from the machine. Um, so let's pull it out. And we're going to wind the bobbin up. The art of threading thread through a hole. Okay, hang on. <laughs> oh, do not. I have a little edge on my spool and it catches sometimes, so let's see. See, this is, I think every video, or the last four videos I filmed today, I had to replace my bobbin. Because I had black thread for the applique, and that bobbin had to get replaced, and now, let's see, oh, take it. And then this bobbin, and just constant struggle with sewing machines. It's dead bobbins. All right. <laughs> Pull it through. Let's try to get back. And because, because it stopped, I will, uh, stopped right on top of a big mesh cart. So I'm actually going to back up a little bit from where, from where it died. Go forward. Stop and go back. And then keep sewing like we were. not another oh you know what it is I totally know what it is I know what's going on my machine is a little old and every now and then the bobbin will actually pop out of its home in uh un like underneath the teeth um if you know how to fix that please comment below because uh yeah it happens uh fairly often with my projects but fortunately I just need to push the bobbin back into place and we're good to go Okay, well, I'm going to try to fix this, so we'll uh, we'll cut out a little early, and um, we'll call this video good. So, we, we just do a straight stitch here, and you would do it all the way till the end. Once you got to the end, you would go forward, back again, um, to really finish it off. And then, um, with this video, I'll try to post a picture of the finished row and how it looks with the, air, with the um, triangles all lining up. So, we're going to cut this one short, but we're experiencing technical difficulties and uh and yeah well well I'll just have to play with it but if you have any advice for how to fix this please comment below um if you want to see any other ideas or crafting things please comment below and just if you want to say hi please comment below well thanks for joining me sorry about the little difficulty here I gotta fix this one and y'all have a great day mm -hmm.